So my thoughts were, because Wong wants his show, is that he's going to have to deal with America Chavez. Yeah. Have flashbacks to what his character was doing before. As he explains to her, as he wants to groom her to help him, because she's got super magic abilities, so then she has to go into the, you know, multiverse of madness where everything's broken apart and everybody's thoughts as they all died and turned to dust from Thanos are all floating as, like, ideas of humanity that they have to pull back together. There's, like, evil monsters lurking around different stuff. Yeah, there's chunks of uh, pillars that are, uh, like, Greek pillars, like, in, like, different designs from different cultures, you know, from around the world long ago. Because everything is built by artists, Wong would explain. Yeah. Because they're the architects and designers of dreams. And so in this world, everything is just chunks of what they, you know, made. And you have to reassemble their dreams yeah. piece by piece by lassoing it with those your orange energy and yeah. pulling it together and sealing it. So then she keeps failing as the plot to succeed at using orange energy to do that. So then finally she cheats and uses infinite polymer processing of her own white energy to assemble like a stained glass window in a church that's all intricate that everyone couldn't figure out because she just reverses what the artist did instantly with processing. Yeah, because it's all broken pieces like it's exploded in, uh, inward under the uh, crimson sky. Like yeah. the images that they're working with, that's the joke of the new thing. Yes. Is that it's a beautiful window that's that's the like center of the the multiverse in a church. Yes. With the red light, you know, spilling in from above as the glasses yes, it reassembled. It's the holy part of people's brains that are all dead and turned to dust. Yes. Yeah. It's the temple of the mind. That's, exactly. That's what it's called. And so they go. They can go around infinitely to different landscapes, haunted houses, uh, forests, you know, under oceans, oceans in space, you know, whatever, and, and do different things. Yeah. Heal things. Pull things together. Yeah, you can even have, a, like, vast works at, at the end of the episode where, you know, Wong finally, because he's the Sorcerer Supreme, tries to, you know wield the correct amount of energy that he's supposed to, yeah. like Doctor Strange did, to pull two giant chunks of, like, representative of an artist that's still alive's brain together by pulling, like, an enormous sucking sea that spills into yeah. space, like, slamming into the shore of a, of a beach, you know, like... And then, like, instead of the water, when it, it slams into the beach, um... Like smashing into the store, the the shore, and causing a tsunami by like the yeah. little lighthouse there. Instead, it suddenly instantly calms and like you know flips up on itself and infinitely yeah. coils back out into the ocean yeah, and like, then somehow well, like rests on itself. That everybody's used to from Moses parting the waters, you know that type of stuff. Yeah, like you know it just instantly is calm and it's like well that I didn't is unexpected you know, and yeah. then you have a sexy orange sunset in the distance with like seagulls being like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's what I was thinking as well. Um, the earlier training stuff, you know, because he, he could even have his own dedicated episode if he wanted. Either yeah. longer episodes, like three, yeah. four, five, six of them, whatever. Or shorter episodes and more, who cares? Yeah. And it describes how difficult it was to do all the things, including fight a ghost in a haunted house that's like a broken nightmare as he slowly smashed through everything like a bare knuckle boxer taking more too many rounds, you know, so his skin gets all split up. Yeah. And then he tells the ghost to stop fucking punching him eventually, you know? Yeah. Because the ghost just keeps fucking punching him. Yep. And smashing him into all the wood even though it's breaking its own form because that's what it's in. Yeah, exactly. Killing itself like an insane, you know, rabid creature beast. Yeah, and so the joke is, because Wong is always acting so civil, that he's just like, stop, you're hurting yourself. And it's like that joke of, like, the angel scene where, like, you know, he, he told them to stop hitting himself, basically, yeah. but he could not because he was holding his hands. Because, like, he grabs him and starts punching him in the face, but it keeps knocking him into things that break more. But see, the other thing is, I was going to say, I've been waiting so long to get to this point in the Marvel thing moving along finally, which is that then he can visit the library of the art of the um, cartographer. Yeah. You know, and that can be shown, which is awesome. 
Everybody loves the infinite library stuff. Yeah. The infinite scrolls and... A guy that's just made out of the reflection of the universe itself, so he is the reflected knowledge of the universe. Yeah, exactly. So they're repairing him, you know, and they can use his library of knowledge. Yep, his hands, his whole body is just reflected universes. Yep. Different colors reflected on him, all shiny. Yeah, and also the other thing is, if you want more content, I don't know if this goes in a movie more, maybe... Or maybe it kind of leads into it for the movie in the car in the not cartoon in the TV show, Disney Plus. Um, I hate Disney Plus. It whatever whatever it's under supposedly. Um, she's supposedly opening portals and she's America and she's you know. It's like the concept I said the whole time when I came up with this, this is my concept. The United States needs to take over all of Canada and the U.S through Mexican integration because they were here first and so that's what this plot is so they try to attach on all this LGBT stuff and everything it's not about that it's about her opening portals which are stars to all the different places in the Americas North Americas and like stopping whatever's happening you know this tearing apart the universe and people's minds that are preventing them from coming back from Thanos' dust, you know, his thing and all that. Or whatever. Yeah. And so the connection is, they're being chased through the multiverse of madness in the, in the, the film, you, you know, that people just watched. Yeah. America Chavez and Doctor Strange. Because uh, of stuff that happens in the, the the next films, in the side stuff, too. Because yeah, like, my concept was, you know, like Dora the Explorer and Carmen San Diego, hot, 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 but one's too young, one's too old. So you create the in-between, which is supposed to be this character, so then she takes you on a world tour of North America so that everybody feels like everything is North America is one united because she's gone everywhere and seen all the cool sights. She's yeah. got to fucking take a lot of airplane flights, in other words, once we get this ball rolling eventually. Man, we need bullet trains in the United States. Yeah, we do. <laughs> then Brad Pitt could have filmed this film here on yes. American soil. That's what I wanted, ideally. I said even Canada, but nope, it had to be Japanese, so whatever. <laughs> I think we pretty much summed up her series. And as for what her friends are and her interactions with other people at the monastery and what... People, aliens come out of a portal that, you know, she talks about how their hair fronds are, you know, interesting. Well, the most important thing to know is, you know, it just seems like everybody's supposed to turn, because it's another power of theirs, turn elements into, you know, other elements or, or break down their structure or something, make them age, whatever, like, this is what they do. Yeah. Doctor Strange does it. And so, like, you have to, like, make the clay a pot with the water in it disappear, is what Wong says. (laughs) And by disappear, he means you have to make the pot turn to dust so the water, you know, falls out onto the floor and there's dirt. Yeah. And so instead, she just teleports the pot and he walks up and he says, well, you would have done it, but once again, you just teleported something to another universe. Because there's no dirt on the floor and I just cleaned it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's her whole issue, right? Yeah. It's doing anything other than teleports is obviously the joke. Yep. I mean, I'll teleport my penis into her pussy. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, because I'm an artist and you have to realize that, and so is, uh, you know, my brother. You have to understand that uh, the way this is working out, as I even, you know, came up with the script, is just only the artists, it seems, have the ability to make something permanent enough in the world to be remembered in any significant way, to be of note, like in a book even, to have their, their creations be in a museum. So it's like, you know, it really is very easy for even Wong to come up with ideas, and I always encourage people to do that a little bit, because you pull an old pottery vase that's beautifully decorated with different herbal dyes and paints, like, back from dust into, like, a collection of something, you know, on a shelf in an old hut uh, where it's broken and powdered on the floor, 
you know, and then you walk out of the hut and then that's like uh, uh, somebody being repaired who was an artist, for example, and they jump away from that chunk because it doesn't connect to other chunks yet. Yeah. It's a big puzzle, life itself, right? Yeah. It's a big analogy. And so, like, there's a beautiful, you know, different gems that are all microscopically cut to turn the light every which direction, like rainbowing outward of different colors, emeralds, rubies, sapphires, you know, aquamarine, and it's like, you know, all in gold with little edgings of silver throughout it, like veins of like circuitry. And it's, you know, just floating broken apart and they have to reassemble each piece, you know, as they get yeah. smaller, the circles on it down to the smallest pieces where the end happens. And then, you know, pull it towards a, like the broken glass that it's floating in back into a velvet cushion display case as the glass reforms over it. And then it's like a museum scene as the light flickers yeah. on over it, you know. And what then I mean? everything is then within the cartographer's library museum extension. Yeah. Yes. Who is a mysterious figure. Yeah. Personally, I think uh, I'd like to play the cartographer. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fun. We've made videos with the silly mask that represents his facial shape. Yeah. 